see how it's coming out the bottom without having to poke the extra holes? Aren't, isn't that cool? Very cool. How exciting. High five, and I love it. Wow. My name is Kathy Lamont. I'm at Antietam Elementary School in Prince William County. I was invited back to VISTA in order to be a co-teacher in order to help the teachers coming in realize how this would look in a real classroom. Our topic had been how a wildfire would impact our area. We started by telling them that we are very close to Prince William Forest and we also have a very large wooded lot for our school. Um, and we said if, if there was a fire, what would happen, what are some of the impacts, what are some of the things that you would see, and we brainstormed a story map from there. What would happen to the ash and soot if that came, ended up into our streams? They went through, we had a small reserve tank facility in our campus, so our kids were able to go down, they tested the water, they got to look at all of the species that were in there, and when we scooped up all of our tadpoles and all of our samples from the water, there was one frog that was significantly larger than the other frogs that were in there, and she did a little bit of research and said, that's a bullfrog. Those are two-year hibernators, and it takes him, it's a, he's gotta be a second year, and the kids got all excited about it. We guided them by saying, we're now looking at water. We're now going to look at the land. We're now going to look at the resources in Virginia. The kids directed it after that, and once they had a frame of reference, most of them asked the same questions that we had planned for, and then if they weren't exactly where we had planned our unit to go, we did tweak their question or we tweaked what we had put together in order to make it work. My advice for teachers this year would be to trust that what you did in camp really does mimic what will happen in your classroom. We started our school year and did a mini lesson at the very beginning where we where it kind of held us for about a month and then we finally all sat down at planning because my whole school team for fourth grade was here at Vista last year and we really did have an active discussion where we sat down and said are we really going to do the lesson plans that we put together and we basically came to the conclusion that it would be ridiculous for us not to we had already done it it was all put together we may as well but there was a lot of hemming and hawing before we finally said if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We won't come back to it if that's the case. We'll say that we did it and everything worked out beautifully. But by doing it at the beginning of the year, it really did spur on more and more inquiry as we went through. And as the year continued, we continued with the PBL aspect and we created our own question maps and made lesson plans based upon those for the units as we continued and finished out our year with lots of hands-on activities, which was exciting for us to see. There was lots of activities going on, but it didn't always relate back to a main idea. And after watching camp again from this side of it, the problem-based learning really is the tie-in to get them to buy into all of the information to really answer the why do I need to know this. So I think the biggest advice would be simply look at your lesson plans, do them, and you will be amazed at what your kids can do. <laughs> I was very surprised in that we knew where we were going with our lessons, and we saw from camp that it really did make a difference, but it was different to see that it really did work with one teacher in the classroom, 25 kids. Once the class started, we did actually tell our students that we were doing science differently than they had probably had it in the past. Mm -hmm. And our kids were almost as excited about it as we were. The results were phenomenal. The kids were thrilled. We loved teaching it, which I think was even more exciting. Um, we got very excited about teaching science the same way that they got really excited about science happening. The kids understood all of the material much better. We were able to fly through it. The kids were able to achieve. They remembered all of the information that they needed to remember. There was very little review that needed to be done before the test. We plotted out what all of our kids got, and the average that I had for that unit was a 92%, which was significantly higher than some of the other units that we had that we didn't do as PBL-ish, okay. um, and significantly better than it was last year. Okay. So it made a huge difference, and because that was our first unit, 
it not only set our kids up for what science was going to be, but it also immediately changed our frame of reference where we said, VISTA works. This process made a difference and we were much more dedicated to it for the rest of the year. Although the lessons that we did after that that we created outside of VISTA um, were certainly nowhere near in depth, the students got a much better understanding of the information than they had in previous years. So it'll make it for a much easier base for our second year of implementation, so hopefully that will continue to improve.